So if you can't tell, I've bought a decent amount of GPUs in the past four or five months while uh, scalping prices have been crazy high. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with this. Um, all these GPUs are bought for mining purposes and I'm just gonna talk about like why I bought them, how much I paid for them and how is it going so far with mining? Like was it worth it to pay scalping prices for mining GPUs? So let's get right into it. So just a bit of background, I got into mining in November of 2021. This is when Ethereum went to 4,800 USD and this is when like GPU prices were at an all time high, you know, like 3080s at non HR went for like $2,000 uh, and you know, it's, it was really hard to find 30 series GPUs, especially the non LHR ones and the founders edition cards. People were waiting outside Best Buy for them paying crazy high prices just to get their hands on them. They didn't really care about how much they cost. And that's because these cards were making people lots of money for mining, but that isn't the case anymore. Behind me here is a bunch of GPUs. This is a 1660 Super, these three. This is a 3060 Ti LHR, and then 3060 Ti and 3070 Founders Edition. And then there's eight uh, 3060 Ti's down here, not LHR. So the eight here is what I initially bought for mining. These things cost me around 6,800 USD. And yeah, I got them all at once. They're all non lhr 3060 Ti's, Asus Dual OC. Pretty good actually, really quiet. Not that like they're really good at mining to be honest. I got them from this guy who bought too many GPUs that his, his place was running out of power. Like he couldn't plug in any more GPUs. So he had to sell off the amount that he overbought. And they're all from like an Asus supplier, like an actual box from Asus. So that's pretty cool. I got a good deal on them. And then Founders Edition cards, I just got added two of them to my rig because I wanted more GPUs. I bought those in December. These guys I bought in November. And then this is for my gaming PC. Uh, it's a 3060 Ti. I, I don't really use it for mining, even though I should, because it can make a decent amount of money. I just use it for gaming, uh, recording videos, and well, that's more of a CPU thing, but for rendering videos and sometimes streaming stuff. I use the GPU for that. It is a little overkill for what I do, but I think it's, you know, it's a 3060. Yeah, I had to <laughs> get a good GPU for my computer because I can use this thing for years and it'll still be pretty good. And then these are uh, 1660 Supers. I built like a mini mining rig with them. So yeah, that's all the GPUs I bought. Now, these have all been purchased at scalping price, um, especially the Founders Edition cards. These things had crazy high markups. So, um, let me show you guys what I bought for them. So this 3060 Ti Founders Edition cost me 1300 USD and this 3070 cost me almost 1400 USD. So yeah, basically like double to triple the price that you can only get for them, which is really bad. It was not a good decision because if I waited like two months, I could have got these for much cheaper. Because if you look on like eBay or your local marketplace, GPUs are a lot cheaper now. Just because mining profits have gone down by a lot, and people are worried about ETH 2.0 coming and like the new 40 series cards launching soon this year. So people don't want to hang on to these cards because they might not be worth that much anymore. I, I still have mixed emotions about what's going to happen. Like I do think that the 30 series cards are still going to be pretty hard to get. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, these are all the GPUs I bought. I have a 10 GPU mining rig running now. It's got like around 620 mega hash. It's pretty good actually. Uh, it's making me a decent amount. I've mined one Ethereum total, a little over one Ethereum since um, November beginning of November, so that's pretty good. I actually just reached that milestone, so I'm <laughs> excited for that. But it's nowhere near like what I need to make back my money. I'm still sitting at like 14 months ROI left. So, you know, hopefully I can make my money back before ETH 2.0, but ultimately I, ultimately, I think that the price of Ethereum has to go way up before I can actually get my money back. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna talk about a bit about the 40 series GPUs launched because this is really gonna affect the price of these 30 series cards. So like, obviously for me, I put a lot of money down on these GPUs for my mining rig. And if the price of them is like cut in half, then I've lost like half my money. And I haven't been able to mine that amount back because profits have been really far down. So yeah, the Lovelace GPUs or the Lovelace series, that's just the name for the 40 series cards coming up. Um, and some of this detail got hacked or Nvidia got hacked. A lot of information, like I think like a terabyte of data got breached. So like information about LHR unlocking and the whole new lineup of GPUs that kind of got released <laughs> into the public. So it was announced or it does look like that the GDDR7 RAM is not going to be able to come into the GPUs in time. So it's going to stick to like a GDDR6, but like decked out. So like GDDR6X or something. Um, now the L2 cache is a thing. I'll have like a visual on screen right now. And the L2 cache is really going to make a big difference. Cause if you can see the 30 series cards, these are all like two megabytes to six, meg six megabytes. But if you look at the new ones they are at 32 to 96, which is crazy. 
So the reason why they're doing this is because what I think is is the memory bandwidth. Since it's not the GDDR7 RAM, like the newer one, then there has to be something in place to be able to handle the new performance of these cards. Because if you look at like CUDA core difference and the uh, SMs, these things are like, there's a pretty big jump in performance for these things. Um, So in order to handle that better performance, sometimes even like 100% better performance on some cards, in able to handle that, they have to add in a bunch of L2 cache to be able to handle that just because the memory is sticking to GDR6. That's not really a technical explanation. That's just what I've learned so far. I kind of just found out about this. But yeah, the new GDR7 isn't gonna be available in time. So they're gonna make up that with L2 cache. Basically the memory bandwidth that's gonna be in these cards won't uh, be able to let these GPUs perform at the highest potential they can. So increasing the L2 cache will help with that. And these cards are likely gonna be drawing a lot of power, which is kind of good for mining because it means that one GPU can give up more performance, kind of like an ASIC miner. So you're gonna, you can have like less of them. So instead of having like a 10 GP rig, you can have like two or three that are really powerful cards and then it's a lot smaller and you don't have to buy like a bigger motherboard, motherboard as many GP risers, etc. for that. So yeah, they're gonna be drawing a lot more power and giving a lot more performance and about the gpu shortage so like we don't really know what's gonna happen about the gpu shortage um i think that it might continue into 2022 2023 we really don't know i think a lot of people are going to be selling off their gpus just because like they're they want to sell their cards off before these new ones come out because just like with everything when the new generation comes out the older ones are going to be cheaper it's like the new iphone like the the oldest the older iphone always gets cheaper now this is probably going to happen with gpus or it may not because there is a lot of lhr gpus that people are holding on to just because they're really good for mining and i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens i hope that the value of gpus still stays up like i hope the 3060 ti stay over a thousand dollars really don't know what's going to happen to be honest but one thing that i'm really interested in is it's a big deal for miners because well i'll just explain it so gpu risers power supplies and everything that goes into powering a system or a mining rig so since these cards are going to be taking a lot more power than what we're used to, um, it might be hard to be able to power these cards. So the, might, the new gener generation might come out and then we might have to have new technology coming out as well to be able to power all these cards. What I mean by that is some cards were supposedly going to be able to take like 800 watts, like the 4090. If that is the case, then GPU risers and power supplies are gonna, might have to be redesigned and have new generations to come out, which those might be hard to come across with. Not too sure if this series is accurate or not but just think that if a 4090 comes out and people want to use it for mining but it's going to be hard to power it because it's taking so much more power than what most mining parts are capable of delivering then no one's going to be mining with that 4090 because it's just too hard to hook up so the older like 30 series cards like the 3090s might be more valuable or the lower tier um 40 series cards might be more popular than the you know 4090 that's just a theory i'm thinking about just like i think that um with like new technology or new technology is going to come out to be able to support these new cards and that's just what i think let me know what you guys think about these new gpus but yeah if you just look on like your local marketplace or like ebay or anything kijiji you'll see that gpu prices have fallen way down and like probably most miners have lost like almost half their money they pay for the cards maybe not quite half but like a third of their mining rig costs the market value is now a third less of it so yeah that's just something to get you guys thinking maybe the gpu shortage is over we don't know but yeah um this video didn't really have much of a structure i just wanted to start practice talking to a camera about gpus so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one